to give us a fuller understanding of how we can talk time management with our kids is a dear friend of mine and a dear friend of the show, psychology whisperer, Dr. Aliza Pressman. You know me, you know I just can't stand things like this. It just is so irritating, these ridiculous expectations. God, it ruffles my feathers. All right, Aliza, what is the best strategy for kids to talk about time management and just what does a realistic list look like in life? I would say each family member needs to figure out what they actually will do and carve out a schedule within those realistic parameters, but make it consistent and make it, you know, think of what do I have to do? What do I have to get done? What do I want to get done? And let's just fill that in and how a day looks manageable. And if there's too much in there, dump it. I have to say though, that when you talk about consistency, I actually feel like less of a failure and more of a success because I have lived a very consistent life. We wake up, you know, they used to go to school. Um, we now have homeschool. Uh, they have lunch and dinner at the same time. The routines, the places, all extremely consistent. Bath time, bedtimes, rituals like books at bedtime. Is that... Is that what you mean by consistency? Yeah, I mean, what you're talking about routines and making sure that there are reliable routines kids can count on, that's consistent. And that helps you feel less unsafe in an uncertain world. So the familiar, repetitive sort of understanding of how my day goes is yeah. good and healthy for children. And the truth is, as much as I'm a rebellious rule breaker and I can't stand that like perfect, you know, stigma of you gotta do it this way, I really do want the very best for my kids. And for me, the very best is the safest. I love that you just said safe, that's the key word. And it's only safe if you're comfortable with it. And a safe schedule is what you want. One that you can feel like is a warm blanket of, I know what to expect here. Well, I know what to expect with you, and that's always salient advice that, again, somehow that you do it without judgment, but you give really specific tips on, like, somehow it doesn't feel like do's and don'ts. It feels like we find a way to go, I am doing some of these things, therefore I might be doing some things right, and parents need to feel that way. They need to hear that because we don't feel that way. I mean, we just want it that those do's and don'ts are the problem. That's that's our problem as an in as a the parenting space. It should be do you and make sure that within the within the doing you, you're make you're conscious of how that will support your kids. I can't thank you enough, Aliza. I just love you so much.